So I just attempted to twerk. Purely out of curiosity, just to see if I could do it. My conclusion is that it's kind of like, um, Charlie Sheen's, you know, Charlie on Two and a Half Men, the original, his girlfriend, um, the hell's her name? The smarter one, the one that wasn't his usual bimbo, was, um, In any case, her mailbox in, mailbox out thing. But it's a fast mailbox in, mailbox out. It's the way you, um, it's, I guess it's a, it seems to me it's like a fast diversion of what, you know, people do for, to like exercise their, their gluteus maximus muscles. I don't know. Um, It's definitely a talent for people who can do it, though. I don't think I can. Um, but I wanted to see if I could. <laughs> I also googled, um, remember I couldn't remember what the goth club in Hollywood that I used to go to by myself, um, went once with Donald, and then went by myself probably a handful of times, maybe, not, not too many times. It's called Bar Sinister, B-A-R-S-I-N-I-S-T-E-R, and I never, I was just reading the Yelp reviews, um, see what other people had to say about it. I was so drunk when I was there, and I couldn't probably write a review, can't even, but in any case, I never went upstairs. I was curious about what was upstairs, but I was there by myself, and I didn't think it was, a, and I was drunk, and I didn't think it was a good idea for me to go upstairs, you know, bad things might happen, so I didn't. And Bordner's was next door, that's just a regular bar right next door to Bar Sinister. Um, I went there once or twice as well. And Bar Sinister was only on, Goth Night was only on Saturday night. Really, really expensive. Every place in Hollywood was really expensive. So it was only something I could do, you know, once in a blue moon. Like once a year or once every six months or something. But, but it's still there. <laughs> was reading reviews from 2014, it's still there. Spotlight Bar, the gay bar I used to go to, usually just on karaoke night. Um, it's, um, it closed down a couple of years ago or something. And... When I was living in here in Massachusetts 15 years ago, whenever, I used to go to a place called Man Ray, that closed down, and a place called Access that probably might, might still exist, but I think they changed the name, but, um, 
it changed anyway. Access and Man Ray were the two clubs I justifiably got banned from returning to. Probably saved my sorry ass life. I was pissed off when it happened, of course, but, you know, that's the nature of anything. Think about it, you know. A drug addict would be pissed off if you take his drug of choice away from him, right? And that was my drug of choice, going out drinking and dancing by myself. You know, take it away from me and I'll have a temper tantrum. direction and you know and there's a lot of women who grow up in you know severe dysfunction and abuse and all of that wind up you know becoming obese like really really obese and whatnot and, you know but I didn't go that other direction and when I was on the inside, I could pretend, you know, I did it, I created it, and it wasn't easy, you know, I might have started with the building blocks, but, you know, I, just about anybody can start with the building blocks, you have to put the work in.
probably I'm sure there were times where I went home with one guy and if I hadn't met him there could have been the other guy who was the one who would have hurt me you know maybe I had a guardian angel watching over me I don't believe in that shit, but, you know, sometimes you have to wonder. wonder why my sorry-ass life was saved when I did everything in my power practically to, you know. I don't know. I do not know, but it was really weird, I was just out, I read probably 30 reviews, maybe more, I don't know, maybe more, it was weird reading that, because I'm like, wow, I used to go to that place, you know, it's still there, it's still pretty much the same, and Last time I was there wasn't that long ago. I've written down exactly. But <clears throat> probably a couple or so years ago, probably less than three. I met so many different people, too. And you do shit like I used to do all the time. You know, you meet all different kinds of people. Some weird, some... in the end it was better than sitting at home and doing nothing. Even though I was taking a great risk. That was my pre-Donald and Hope days. And then after everything, I mean I lived on the streets and everything I got with my mom and, and, and Marion and all that in 2009. I had no money, of course, when I was on welfare living with Donald and Hope, but, you know, that's why when I say every once in a while I would go out, it was very rare, very, very rare. I just needed it. I needed to dress up and get it on. And and not be just, you know, that homeless, penniless loser that Donald and Hope were always there to, to know, you know. And I got all dolled up, nobody knew. I was just the shit flaced hot blonde, you know, tall hot blonde. Nobody knew who I really was, you know. And at that point, I mean, after everything, with, with, with what had happened with Donald, and, you know, my, and everything that had happened with my family, and whatnot, of course I didn't give a flying fuck. I just did whatever I wanted to do. And here I am, unscathed. I mean, at least, I'm not, not emotionally, psychologically, of course, but physically, unscathed, and I don't believe it, can't believe it, just 
boggles the mind. It just doesn't add up. I should have died the night Donald shoved me backwards down that hill and left me there for dead or dying. I should have died numerous times after that. By my own, you know, by my own volition, my own fault, my own whatever. And here I am. Why? don't know. Just know that it it, it it defies all logic. It just shifts. I never even got pregnant. Never even got a single STD. It's like I, I mean, it's like I had a guardian angel watching over me. And I did get raped a couple times, I told you that. But I mean, I, I never got beat up, I never got pregnant, never used a condom, never got a single STD. I've never been pregnant, never had an abortion, never had a single STD. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. When I got a mess health, and when I went into that shelter and got a mess health, I mean, I got a full exam. I got tested for everything. I'm clean as a baby. And that's another reason why I'm not just going to hop into bed with any old person. I'm clean as a baby. And I figure, I, mean, I, I emerged from all that, all of that unscathed, at least. And, you know psychologically, emotionally, we're not talking about that, we're just talking about physically. Never been pregnant, never had a single STD, never had to have an abortion, never, nothing, nothing. It's just crazy. And I know that I'm clean as a baby because I haven't, I have the papers to prove it and I haven't, I haven't done anything, you know. Those two guys with Foot Guy and Beach Guy, it was 100% safe. 100% safe. And that's how I want it to be, and that's how it's going to be, unless I meet a guy who absolutely blows my mind, and we're going to. We'll both get tested. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna do what I used to do. I'm not gonna throw caution to the wind. I'm not gonna. There's lots of fun things you can do that are 100% safe, you know. That's why Foot Guy was so awesome. He he was into feet and he just wanted to do that to me and it's just awesome. He and Beach Guy were both hot as hell. They were hot. Pretty nice face and rocking body. Dark hair, dark eyes, and taller than me. And they're six, they were like six feet, something like six one, six feet. Enough. 
I don't know how I survived everything. I don't know how I did it. Was it meant to be? I don't know. I have no idea why the fuck we're here, and I've never wanted to be here, so, you know. We've already gone, gone over that a million times. I don't know if this is all leading anywhere. I don't know if it's leading nowhere. I don't understand why we're here. But I do know there's a lot of things about existence that shouldn't be. I do know, I at least know that much. And I also know that need more, more what? You, you, you guess. can't lock me up unless I actually do something that warrants me being locked Before I even met Donald, I came up with this. I've spent my whole life with my nose pressed against the glass. Now I'm going to smash that glass and crawl through, even if one of the sharp pieces kills me. <laughs> That's a good analogy, huh? I liked that. I really liked that. I came up with that prior to 2001, prior to Donald, prior to even Alicia's world. Time to go to bed. Lay down my sleepy, sleepy head. Think it's time to go to bed. Time for me to go to bed. I fasted all day yesterday and I didn't. My Vitacost order came with chocolate almonds. They were kind of expensive. I, I don't think I realized when I ordered them because I probably shouldn't have, but because they're only in a tiny little package. And they, well, I got my sale for like two dollars each, but that's too expensive. Oh my god, I was thinking I play. In any case, I kept my fast so I can. I didn't. I, I fasted all day yesterday. 
Maybe I'll weigh myself and I'll see what I weigh. But I walked to return Wolf of Wall Street. That took about a half hour. Then I walked with Omar for an hour, all slow, you know, pretty slow walking. But I walked by myself. I walked a little bit quickly sometimes, but um, I decided to postpone going to the mall just because I didn't think it was a good idea for me when I was fasting. And, and I don't think it's supposed to rain all day today, so it's supposed to be in the 60s, so today might be a better day for me to go to the mall. Wait till I can wear shorts again. Can't wait. I love the heat. I love the sun. I love the summer. And I love showing off all my hard work. definitely want to start on. I know I keep saying this, but I really need to start going to bed earlier. I really want to start going to bed by 11 every night. I got my natural vitality calm. Magnesium. I haven't had leg cramps lately. That's good. But I also haven't been exercising. So if I start exercising, I gotta make sure I stretch. I'll take my magnesium, my natural vitality calm every night. Um, I'll end with this in case you're wondering what I was thinking about just now. You want the truth? I always give you the truth. I told you the only, all these years I've been doing this, the only things I've lied about have been to hide my location or hide the real names of my family or friends. You know what I mean? That's it. I don't lie out here. I tell the truth. And what I was thinking just now is about my mom, you know. You know, thinking how am I gonna do my thoughts racing? I can't save her, what am I gonna do? I wanna save her, I don't it's so sad she and no, I'm just back and forth, back and forth, you know.
100% impossible for me to save my mother without money. me that song, I don't know who sings it, I cannot save you, I can't even save myself, so just save you. dreams. He was on my sleeping on me. Downstairs. Watched the voice and then I was falling asleep. I watched the news. I wanted to hear the weather. And I was starting to fall asleep and he, he yelps. I never hear him. My roommate's dog. I don't even remember having other dogs that did that the way. He, um, maybe he has really intense mind, intense dreams. But he, I never heard Angel doing that. I never remember my other dogs doing that. He, I don't know if he's having nightmares or dreams or whatnot. I just know that. I know all animals dream, but I'm just surprised that I never. I don't recall. I know. I've been around Angel when she was sleeping. I never heard her doing that. Just him. Just him. He yelps. He's asleep and he yelps. And he, he moves his leg. And he, I know he's dreaming. He's a hot ticket. Psycho just like mama. Psycho just like his mama.